Uh, bear with me a little bit. Uh, kind of learning this deck. So far. So we need this discarder. We can discard that bear. We are... We don't really need this ship. That helps. I'm not sure if we need the bear now. Too stuff to discard without... Wait to discard them. Pass. Overall, this looks okay. We're going first. Uh, that's not the best. Maybe we can do... Uh, I don't know. Gonna make the Uncreate Marauder trickier. But we can still play it. Across the wide somber sea, I will sail. Man, good card. Oh, actually, that was a bit risky. Oh my god, not this guy. I don't like artifacts, guys. If the artifacts were not in the game, I would be just happier. <laughs> because artifacts are just so, like, so binary. If you have the counter to them, the other guy loses. If you don't have the counter to them, they're actually pretty good. So... We're not doing an Uncreate Marauder, I guess. Oh, look at that, I can't hear power. <laughs> uh, Vesemir, it's uh, your time to shine. Good roach. Uh, might as well boost. Something like that. We're all in 2019. Uh, actually, I don't know why you're picking on Harald. He's, he's good. So, if we could get to the point where we can play the Demon Pyro Captains, that would be nice. But how do we get there? Good bloody question. Also, yeah, like, a lot of stuff we can play. That's just too crazy. I don't like that. Let's just go with Harald Huntsnout. Okay, a little bit unusual, but let's let's just do that. <clears throat> Pavel Burza said that they will nerf monsters in February patch. Uh, the good question is, how will they do it? Well, that's pretty nice. It enables. The captain, and we need to play these guys. If you could make some nerfs, how would you do it? Yeah. Let's hit that. Oh, in the lead by 15 points. Pretty nice. Can do a Donaran Hinder as well. But it's not that great. Do I pass? I have like odd cards that I can play here. I'm not sure what he would play. So he doesn't have Roach. Do we need to be overly concerned about some kind of uh, finisher? No. Lock would be nice to keep. We keep the lock. Keep this guy. Keep the unicorn. Ah, and create Marauder would be just terrible here. Might. Well, it's it's kind of luck based. Kill both Harald Pals. And, uh, nah, I don't feel it like it. So he needs to play at least a 9 here, which is like at least a, a very good gold. I'm not even sure what he can play. 
That takes it in one. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. But we can try to race him now. Try to make him lose a card. Uh, this is not gonna help with the race. I have to go first. And if I play something... That's a lot of points. <laughs> this is so bad. If I pass like this, that's not good enough. We got a burn, I believe. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. Perfect. I can't hit, but at 10 points right away. We only need to play one other card. Or no no no. That's fine. If he can't do 10 points right now. Then we are great. For monsters, I would nerf the Thrive cards. Especially Arcaspore. Way too much value for 4 provision. Hmm. I think we should just pass. I like having card advantage. Not sure about whatever combo he can do, but... By having card advantage, even if we are... Uh, even if we have... Well... By having card advantage, we'll have last say, so... Um, let's just pass. Alright. I want to need some movement, though. Maybe remove Fry from... Grounder and give it a two-point or... Give it a point or two. Right, it's basically a two with move with Fry. Um, the problem is... Monster doesn't really have... A lot of value for for movement. Oh, I don't know. It also deals damage. I think. I think no. I think just changing the stat distribution would be pretty interesting. Okay, we gotta discard that guy for sure. It's annoying. So I don't really have any crazy value generator. We can play the Demon Longship. Draw a card. Yeah, let's go with the Demon Longship. Oh, actually I may have messed up by not playing in the front. If they change the Drowner from 2 Thrive, deal 2 damage. From 4 Thrive, and deal no damage. Uh, that would be a nerf as well, because then you would need to play bigger units. Uh, to activate it. Maybe they can change it to 3, 3 point, Thrive. But the Thrive is a little bit odd. Why does the Drowner thrive? I don't get it. They're just like, fuck it, we have an archetype. We just put in the Drowner. Doesn't matter, it makes no sense. <laughs> At least that's kind of how it looks like. Don't you pester me. Like some I don't know. Maybe Drana should be his own thing. But not sure what it should be. No. <laughs> it used to be fog immune. <laughs> Let's make it a thing. Let's make the Drana fog immune. Passing against Herald is bad news. Whereas is uh, in the long round. Doesn't seem to be that interested in bears. But I'm definitely annoyed by the, the dumb spear. No, 
I don't think we're gonna have a better target. Better opportunity to play this. Let us put our steel to the test. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah, that was a really hard achievement to uh, to get, I imagine. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Okay. Let's stab that. But what else are we doing? So I can try to heal up the Scald. <sighs> Obviously, he intends to kill that. What am I doing? Okay, we're playing the unicorn soonish. Oh fuck, we, we should play in the same row. Just kill everything. That thing stays alive. Across the wide somber sea, I will sail. <clears throat> the problem with the spear is that if you play it, just think about it. If you play it round one in a ten long round, you get. 10 unstoppable damage for 7 but it's also like 1 point damage and you can just like target it anywhere not like it's random it's pretty good and the fact that although most value generators tend to uh, worth it in like 4 rounds or maybe five rounds, sometimes sh uh, shorter, but like four rounds, I just say that's the norm. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, and the spear is uh, not as valuable, but the problem is, come on, he kills everything. I'm... I'm actually tempted just to go with Commander's Horn on the back row now. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? They are dying. Non stop. It would be nice to lock this or somehow destroy it. Locking it would be cool. Doesn't give me any targets. Well, we don't really want to just lock. Oh, I hate that. We're probably following it up with a commander's horn or crap like that. I don't even know. Well, we got a problem here, is that he's gonna play the hero power.
plus whatever guy he has. If I play this, and these are gonna die. Okay. Well, that should be 12 points. Which is perfect. <clears throat> no, never mind that. It's not perfect. <laughs> Actually, it's 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 still kind of perfect. Can I do this? Oh, it's, it's just about good enough. <laughs> we got him, guys. Easy. This was so, so surprising. I never suspected that he's going to play that guy. His strategy blew my mind. GG. Lori goal. Old faithful. What the hell is this scanning guy doing with a uh, elf portrait? He stole it knew it so we're going second we need to be a little careful here so we can discard these guys that is a decent one to discard as well but it's gonna be hard to make it work so that's the plan currently we burn out these two suckers Esco gets played, Wolfpack, and this is about the plan for round one. Finish redrawing is not working. Why not? Crack. He's like, oh yeah, I did it, couldn't even redraw my cards. Yeah, crack. Don't need down a little. No, no, no. Just, just chill, okay? But. I actually like 1% with crack here. Imagine like, oh shit, my card. And then, you know, when you're just like, time out, you just like ran out of time. And, and Francesca is just saying, oh, come on, my guy, crack, just hurry up, okay? And I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm obviously like thinking and like that. So anyway, let's just go with Esco. Sure, no problem. Yep, we're hitting nobody. Why not change it to War Mac? More machine or something like that. I'm not sure if I like that more. Oh, with the war machine with uh, an eye. Why don't I just go war machine 69? That's the classic. It's probably better next month you'll do that. <laughs> oh, come on. It's traps. As much as I would like the trap arc, it sounds cool. Traps sound cool. But they're also pretty lame in practice. I don't like them. It's not very interactive. They play a trap, you're like, uh oh, what that could be. It's one of those free, actually, traps that don't suck. So it's probably the Mahakam Horn, or the Spike Trap, or the Crushing Trap. What could that be? We don't know. What are we gonna play here? I don't know. Can play this guy, but he might get punished. Can just go pirate captain. Oh no, this guy is full on traps. He played an incinerating trap. You don't do that unless you're like really into traps. Guess he was just testing. So if you have incinerating trap, uh, you probably have six traps. Probably not the serpent trap. That kind of Hard to include. But actually, that even that could be really good. <laughs> or even better, Love Machine. <laughs> hmm. I must re-examine the manuscripts. Sounds too sexy for you. What? Okay, maybe just do Burna. We shall do it my way. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, hmm. 
Good question. Do we just discard these two suckers? Or we discard more work? How much we want to push this? I'll just discard the skirmishers. Ah, uh, that sounds good to me. That's your alt. <laughs> I, I would like to see that. War machine on love machine. Going at it with, in the chat. Oh boy. I can't even uh, pronounce that. Elite uh, war machine. Uh, you typed in the chat. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of these very fancy names. I mean, like, sure, like, do whatever you like. That's the, like, the, the, the pro gamer. But, like, just, like, really? You're putting just so much effort into your name? I'm like, what? I don't know. I never liked that. I'm not one of those guys who had, like, a elite uh, gamer tag. Actually, well, funny, funny thing is that I'm admitting to at this point. I think I had a number in my uh, gamer tag some time ago. And like we we're talking about back to back in like early 2000s and only only when I was playing uh, Warcraft 3. So I think I ended up with... I don't even know what my name was. I think it had a number in it. Did it have a number in it? Yeah, it had a number. It had a 4 in it. 1-4. That's it. So, I can't complain. He passed! Why? So, what are we doing? Now, I suspect we are actually... We're gonna have a trouble in a... In a... In a longer round. Because he's gonna have like all the crazy traps. He's put, gonna put me in the same rope. And honestly, I hate this. This is the... One of my biggest... Uh, criticism... About new Gwent. That long run strategy is just too easy to execute. Hmm. Don't you pester me. Uh, Morgvark showed up, but these guys kind of bad. So he has two crushing traps, a spike trap. He has a Mahakam horn. He has a way to replay crushing trap or the spike trap. He... Not sure what else. I think the, the entire purpose of Francesca is to replay the double trap card. Uh, that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh yeah, punch him hard. Punch him. And the crushing trap is actually pretty good. No more spice. Bring back silver spice. I had a love and hate relationship with the spies. I liked their concept, but in practice they were a little annoying. A lot of times. I'm not sure how I feel about uh, like spies in this Gwent version. The problem with spies was like most of them relevant in like round two. 
Like, yeah, that's that's oh my god. I'm really glad you guys brought it up. Because if you had a spy, you could push round two. That's just another reason why trying to to punish a long round strategy is pretty painful. Because in the past you could play a spy then just keep playing cards. Of course, he may have a spy as well, so in this way, uh playing a spy was pretty mandatory. But my point is, is that they kind of served a, a bit of a purpose, and, and if, you play, if you play them round two, you may have paid them without, like, kind of as a downside. Let's play the Uncreate Marauder. Ario's been chosen. The gods speak to him. Punch him. I don't have it like a finisher. Wait, what is he doing? Also thunder? That makes no sense. Why would you have an also thunder? Oh, well, we can push him pretty hard here. Okay. What? What is this guy up to? I don't get it. So let's say we play Chiron X. Then we play the Horn because we have to. Well, actually, we should play the Unicorn. It's kind of tricky because as much as I... Well, we should probably Horn first, then Unicorn. Uh, that's a little bit better. I don't know, I've gone down a card in round 2 just to deny them long ground value and still won. But, but the thing is, in order to do that... Well, you have two ways of doing that. Either you just say straight up... I can win round two, and you just commit to losing a card, and you just use up your trashiest cards in a row, or you just try to keep up, in which case, keep in mind, I just say you use up three cards, and you use up four cards. He has to play a card for sure that round. So... So he's kind of like answering whatever cards you're playing, with one more card. And you kind of have to balance the value with that. He has to play one card. So if you play one card. And he ha he plays another card that's that's just as good as yours. Then you just, just straight up lost the card. Uh, I actually have to play this. Yeah, I'm kind of planning this horn. Huh? Yeah, we have to play it. I'm not sure how I feel about it, because I went into this round two with the... Yeah. Now that's probably gonna be boost the synthesis twice. So he's gonna go to 25. No, no, no. 35. I think we might need the Jenga here. Ah, hit it when they run. <clears throat> so he has 34. Currently. Because what we are counting with here is that he plays the 10 point boost and he replays it. 
and uh, apparently is not happy with how this game turned out. He's probably holding back some... I don't know what he was exactly holding back, but he was probably holding back something for round 3. And... Obviously, uh, it didn't work out as perfectly as he hoped. Even if he has to use up his hero power, uh, then Ord gives me a bit of an advantage. And this is what I want to see. I want to see players actually playing round 2. And round 1, but mostly round 2. I don't want to... I want a game where players don't save up their best stuff like for round 3. At least I can't afford to. So GG, don't hunt. Oh, I, I actually uh, fight this guy uh, quite a bit.